For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. There is one event that will happen to all men. For the Bible says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And that being sinners, the Bible says that the wages of sin is death. You're going to die. And the Bible says, with death, prepare to meet thy God. And you cannot meet God on the realm of religion. Religion is never and has never been approved by God. When Jesus said, he is the way, the truth, and the light. And there is no access to God outside of Jesus Christ. And that the Bible says that it is plain and simple that there are other Jesuses. Paul says there's another Jesus. There's another spirit. And there's another gospel. And if your Jesus your gospel and the spirit that you proclaim to have, if it does not align with the Holy Scriptures of the King James 1611 Bible, then Fred, you are in great error. You have been deceived. And I'm going to tell you there is one way Amongst many ways, Satan has provided many deceptions that look like the truth, but it is not the truth. It's plain and simple to see that Jesus Christ saves, and only Jesus saves. It's that plain and simple. And that if you have a religious Jesus, a religious Jesus is not going to get you into heaven. If your Jesus is not God, as the Jehovah Witnesses proclaim that Jehovah is not God, Jesus is not Jehovah. The Jehovah Witnesses deny the deity of Jesus Christ. And they will outright tell you that Jesus is not God. That's another Jesus. That's a Jesus that cannot save you. Because if Jesus is not God, he can't save. And the very name of Jesus himself means Jehovah saves. That's another Jesus. There's a Jesus amongst religions that he was a good man. He was a good teacher. He did good things. Highly liked. That's not the scriptural Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was so so liked that ended his ministry that they nailed him to a cross. Speaking the truth. Speaking of the Father. And they gave him and his disciples minus John a violent death for preaching the truth. Jesus was good but not only was he good but he is God. And that Jesus Christ came to seek that which is lost. 
He didn't come out to hang out with the homeboys. He didn't come down to party with the human beings. Jesus came to seek that which is lost. And I know many of you at the farmer's market, you're irritated at a preacher that preached the gospel. Amen. You wouldn't enjoy Jesus because Jesus irritated all those that were around him. Jesus irritated the religious people, the Pharisees, the Sadducees, and the chief priests, and the Roman government. The Bible says, marvel not if the world hates you. If you got a loving, peaceful, lily Jesus, that's not the biblical Jesus, and that's not the biblical Christianity. I'm not here for your liking. I'm here to preach the gospel. The fact is that Jesus Christ was given the cross. And 11 of his disciples, 12 you count Manasseh, were all violently killed for the word of God. And if you're going to come with lily messages and fun loving messages that we can uplift ourselves, if you come with a Joel Osteen message, that's not approved of God and that's not biblical Christianity. Any preacher that has a yacht and airplanes and all, he's not preaching the gospel. Turn them off and open your Bible and find out. That's another Jesus. There's another religion where Jesus, he can be eaten and drank. You can eat the literal body of Jesus. And you can drink the literal blood of Jesus Christ. And that Jesus is such a meanie that you can go through the back door through his mother. And that his mother is the, you know, the, the, the mother of God. That's never in the Bible. That is not biblical. The mass, Mary, and the Catholic Church cannot get you to heaven. That's anti-scriptural. I'll, I'll give you one verse of many verses for the Catholic Church. The Bible says in the, in the Gospel of Matthew, Call no man your father. And yet that's the title of the priest. I, I'm never called by a father. You can call me mister, you can call me doctor, you can call me preacher, you can call me a fool, but don't ever call me a father. A religious title that Jesus said, call no man your father, and the Catholic Church violates the scripture. The Catholic Church teaches that Mary is the mediator. And the Bible says there's one mediator between God and man. The man Christ Jesus. Now Mary's not a man. And Mary's not Christ Jesus. She never is and never will be an animator between God and man. It's a false heresy. That's another Jesus. And then there's, you got the hippie Jesus. The strung out on drugs. Jesus freak. You can find nowhere in the scriptures where Jesus violated God's law or violated man's law. That he, he had a perfect character. And in him was no rebellion at all. Because Jesus is holy and right. Jesus is God. 
He said, well, preacher, what is the difference between my Jesus, my religion, and your Jesus, and what you believe and what you preach? The empty tomb. It has been proclaimed by Jesus through his angels that he is not here, he is risen. My Jesus came out of the tomb three days and three nights according to the scriptures and is alive at seated at the right hand of the Father right now. Well, you, well, preacher, you know, in the Catholic Church, Jesus was resurrected. Jesus was resurrected, and yet you nail him back to the cross. Your crucifix shows Jesus nailed to the cross. That's not my Jesus. My Jesus was taken down off that cross put in a tomb, in three days and three nights, he would come out of that tomb alive and never went back to be crucified. And yet every time a Catholic partakes of the Mass, every Mass that happens, you are taking part in killing Jesus over and over. Where the Bible says in Hebrews, he sacrificed once and for all. There are many Jesuses. And many Jesuses will get you in a place called hell. But one Jesus is able to save your soul. That Jesus is God himself. That Jesus was born of a virgin. Of the tribe of Judah, which is Israel. In a place called Bethlehem. He lived approximately 33 and a half years. He did no sin. He is 100% God, 100% man. He obeyed God's law. He obeyed man's law. And at the end of his days, they, cruci they crucify him upon the cross. He suffered and died according to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That Jesus was seen above 400 people. That at the death of Jesus, the veil between the holy place and the most holy place was rent from top to bottom. And the graves of the Old Testament saints were open. And they came out of their graves for 40 days. that the next great event of the Bible is an event called the rapture where Christ will meet in the air, not on the earth, his bride and take his bride, the church, home to heaven. The dead in Christ shall rise first and they that remain shall be caught up together in the clouds. There'll be no lost people. All are not welcome at the calling of the rapture. Only those that put their faith and trust in Jesus will be called out by Jesus. 
And if you've been a spiritual imitator, you won't be called. Your name will not be mentioned at the rapture. You'll be left behind. All the masses of people that will be in a church, if the rapture happens during the church time, all the masses of the people that will be left behind because Jesus Christ will only call that that are his own. He knows his sheep by name. If you're not a sheep, you're a goat. You are lost. And Jesus came to seek that which is lost. You don't have to be in a church Sunday morning. You can receive and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ today, now. Right here on the, on the road, on the black top, right here on the brick top, and right here on the sidewalk. You don't need stained glass. You don't need pews. You don't need an altar. You just need to believe with your heart and call upon Jesus Christ to save you of your sins. That the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. That with the heart man believes unto righteousness. With the mouth confessions made unto salvation. That you today can be saved. You can call upon the name of Jesus Christ, God, to cleanse you of your sins, to wash you, that your name might appear in the last book of life, that you may be made a child of God through faith and belief in Jesus Christ alone, nothing else. Not how good you are, not how much money you give, not where you go. It's whom you have believed. Are you washed in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ? Have you been to Calvary where the blood of God, Acts 20, 28, was shed? For man and his sins. Because death is coming. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. There's one Jesus for salvation. And that Jesus said, he is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father, but by me. You're not safe in any other way. There is no hope without the blessed hope, and the blessed hope is Jesus. And you can know Jesus today by faith and belief that Jesus is who he said he is, and what the Bible says he is. And that he is able to be your savior. When the Bible says. The Lamb of God. Would take away the sin of the world. And that Lamb of God can be your savior today. <laughs> 